In statistics class, we're going to look at lines. Now, you've most likely probably spent a few years learning about lines in some type of algebra class where you've taken two points, gotten a slope, made a line. Uh, what we're going to use is slope y-intercept form right here, y equals mx plus b. And what we're going to do is graph this out so you have a visual of what this looks like. And to graph, I'm using Desmos. You go to desmos.com and click on Math Tools Graphing Calculator. I'm just going to type y equals mx plus b. Now, m and b need to be numbers. x is the coordinate on the x-axis, y is the coordinate on the y-axis. m and b are going to be numbers. It lets me add a slider for m and for b. And I can adjust these. And this, I really encourage you to go here and do this and play around on Desmos because you can see that changing B, this is the Y intercept. I can also type a number in here if I like, just to get an exact value. Um, or you could play around with the slider. There are limits on the slider, but you can change the limit if you wanted to go negative 20 to 20 and hit enter. And now of course I can push it right off the screen if you go too high or too low. Uh, you can scroll with the scroll wheel, scroll out and scroll in. M, uh, so B is the y-intercept. M is the slope. So it comes with a default M value of one. That means if I zoom in here a little bit, if I go any, any point I look at, this is a zero, negative two. So the y value is negative two. When the slope is one, that means if I go one to the right, so here's the x value of zero. Now this zoom is not great. There we go. Now I see an x value of one. If I click right there, if you noticed, this y value went from negative two to, neg to negative one. So it went up by one. Maybe this is easier to see with positive values. So here, if I start with two zero, if I go right one, right here, why is that working? Right there. Uh, over one, uh, up one, that's what a slope of one is. If I make the slope two, that means when I go over one, I go up two. So here we have one zero and then two two because I went over one and up two. All right, so we can play around with the slope right here. I'm going to set the B to something close to zero. Let's go right to zero. All right, if your B value is zero, it means you're going through the origin right here. Uh, now, playing around with the slope, a positive slope means it goes up to the right. And if it's more positive, it's steeper. It goes up more, much more quickly. It looks almost like a vertical line uh, if your slope gets too big. And when slope is zero, it's a flat line, horizontal. And if your slope is negative, your, your line goes down as it goes to the right. So this goes, when you go to the right one, it goes down two. That's what a slope of negative two is. So now we're ready to answer these questions here. In 9.1, we don't really need to use Excel at all. We can just do everything uh, just using, you probably don't even need Desmos if you have a good handle on lines. So, Equation of a line, that's y equals mx plus b, as a slope of negative 4. Now we absolutely could put negative 4 in here. Um, Y-intercept of 10, that's pretty big. For this zoom, I'm the zoom way out if I want to see this line. That's what the y line looks like. This question just wanted us to type this in. So it's negative 4 times x. Remember, when you're using Excel, you have to put in the... the asterisk the multiplication sign so it's negative 4x plus 10 and this is what the line looks like turn that in and we're just going to keep going through the other homework questions all right graph the line 1 third x plus 2 so you need to use this first option that's already selected if you accidentally choose one of these other options this is called a parabola we're not doing parabolas here uh, if you did a circle, all right, you can clear everything out. You can't delete one thing, but you can remove everything. So you hit that clear button. We need the line. 
one third x plus two. I'm going to start by clicking on the y intercept right here at two. And I'm just going to click somewhere else. This is not the correct line yet. Now, it looks like a pen if I'm not on top of one of the points, and it looks like this uh, four way arrow when I am on top of the points. If I click and drag on top of a point, I can move that point around. So I have the right y intercept. Now I want to get one third x. So I want to go uh, up one when I go over three. So this point right here, I'm going to go over three. So I'm now at the x value of three and then up one. And right there I went over three, up one. So there's always a rise over run. So it's how much y is changing divided by how much x is changing. So that's that one third. Hit submit. Now we're sketching a graph y equals three. Now notice there's no x here. So what does that mean? If there was no x, here's another way to think about it. y equals zero x plus three. And zero is the slope if there's zero x's, you can be lazy and not even write that. So what we're looking at is just y equals three. So there's a horizontal line where every y value, including the y intercept, is three. So you can click there and then anywhere else uh, when the y value is three. And submit that. All right, equation for the graph in slope intercept form y equals mx plus b. So on this one, you want to look for the b, which is 6, the y intercept. I'm clicking on there. And I can type this one in, y equals. So it's not quite x. Um, we have to figure out how much x, what is the slope of this. But 6 is the y intercept. Um, you can also, I believe, make any of these in, nope, I didn't want to do that. Just get all these out of here. All right, slope. This one's a little bit tricky because it's not going over one on the axis. So I see two obvious points here I'm going to use. I'm clicking negative six on the x-axis, positive six on the y-axis. So if I go over three, or I'm actually going over six here, and up six. So I could do six over six. Now six over six reduces to one. So this one actually is just one x plus six. This one's a little bit, oh, we need a y equals as well. All right. I'm gonna get a new version on this. I don't want a slope of one. Here we go, this one's more exciting. It still has a y-intercept of six. And now my slope, I have to be a little careful here. I'm going to use the x-intercept right here. It's between negative 2 and negative 4, so I'm going to say that's negative 3. So I'm going to go over 3 and up 6. So that's uh, up 6 over 3. So we went up 6, so it's 6 over 3. And of course, that reduces to 2, no problem. x plus six for that y-intercept. Okay, and feel free to reduce that to two. No worries. All right, same thing here, slope, y-intercept, and then again, this equation at the end, it already has the y equals, so don't include that when you type. All right, last up, what's the slope of the linear function and its units? We have a cost function. X is the number of miles driven and renting a car. And uh, a car for, for one day is $54 plus $1.25 per mile. All right, so what's the slope? Uh, now we could be renting the car for more than one day. That's not really mentioned in this, but uh, so this technically is car for a day is $54 per day, but we're just renting it for one day in this problem. Now we are going to drive a different amount of miles. We're not sure how many miles, so we want to relate the rental fee plus uh, the mileage. All right, so the slope, uh, you can see right here, we don't even have anything about days. So this is per, uh, per mile. So we have units are dollars 
Per means divided by mile. So our units are dollars divided by mile or dollars per mile. So dollars per mile are units. All right, slope. So if I went one mile, I would go up $1.25. And this is just the slope, not the whole line. All right, what's the y-intercept and its units? So the y-intercept is this flat $54 you have to pay. And now I just said the word dollars right there, submit. All right, the linear function right here, it already has C of X, this uh, stands for Y. So we're just putting in 1.25X plus 54. So hopefully this is enough to refresh you on lines uh, for when we do use Excel, which is coming up relatively soon.